guys. Thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. As you guys know, I'm sitting in guest suite 903. Um, so I just wanted to first go over and say thank you guys so much. We recently hit 2,000 subscribers on October 26th. So this is the first video since you know last week we did take a break and I missed you guys all so much. Um, so welcome back. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. It's been a huge milestone. And I remember when I used to shout out you know where we were at to get the thousand subscribers and now just in a little less than two months we got another thousand subscribers so it's two thousand and then as of today we're at two thousand one hundred and seventy one subscribers so it's just expanding so i thank you guys so much um obviously we're making some content that you guys love and i just appreciate it because it's something that i just love to do as far as decorating my home and then now showing it with you guys and sharing it with you guys so thank you again so this week's video, we're going to continue the Guest Suite 903 um, series. So now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys our guest bathroom. Um, I wanted to show you guys how it has been transformed from a builder grade to what we call our custom urban farmhouse bathroom. So I hope that my guests enjoy it um, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. So let's get into the video. Okay, so right here, Matt's just taken off the door. Um, it's important to make sure that you um, get anything that might be in your way to hinder that tile process. Um, this product that we use is called Eco Prime Grip. It's the same product that we use in our laundry room um, to lay that tile, and it's really good when you have a vinyl flooring and you just don't wanna have to take it up. You can just put this right on top of the vinyl and it acts as a good binder for the a thin set and the tile as well. So I would re highly recommend that product. Again, it's um, Prime Grip. So Matt's just going ahead and smoothing it out there, making sure he puts a really thick coat down. So again, the more product that you have down there, then the easier it is to set your tile with that thin set. It just provides an extra grip um, because if we just put it right on the vinyl, it's gonna slip. So once he has all of that laid out and again, a nice thick coat there, then we're gonna go ahead and move on to taking off the shoe molding. So ahead of time, we figured out that there was some shoe molding that goes around the um, vanity in the bathroom. And so it's the same color as the cabinet and we wanted to make sure that we kept that. So Matt was very careful to take that off. So when taking off the shoe molding, um, you'll want to make sure that you're um, careful, especially when you're going around your tub um, or shower that you don't um, rip the, the tile. Uh, not rip the tile, but you don't crack the tile because if you're using your crowbar to take the shoe molding off, it's important to go slow, take your time, so that way you don't have a costly mistake later. So now Matt's just laying out the tile, making sure that we have that pattern um, established before putting down the tile. Um, you wanna make sure that you test the tile out. If you do have a pattern tile like the one that we have in this bathroom, you wanna make sure that you do a dry fit and you get your pattern set up so that way you don't have any mistakes later on when you go to put the thin set and then the tiles don't match up. So there's my cousin Eddie. He has been a godsend with all of our projects. Um, 
So he's helping with the tile. Again, he has his construction company called Fathers and Sons. Please check him out. He's on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so he came over to help us with this project. So he helped take the toilet off, gave us a little bit of feedback as far as how to get it started. And so Matt was helping out and he's using a multi-tool here to cut part of the baseboard so we can pull the carpet back. And that way we can get the tile as flush um, to the tile where it meets up, excuse me, where the carpet meets the tile. So this was a joint effort. Um, so this time around, instead of my cousin doing everything, we decided to help out. Um, so I'm buttering the back of the tile and he would lay down the tile and get the pattern just right for us. And then Matt was cutting the tile. So it was a joint effort this time. So the three amigos, we got it done. So this was actually Matt's first time ever cutting tile, um, so it was a little intimidating at first, but he did such a great job and so it empowered us to, you know, possibly do our next project on our own. So um, again, I appreciate my cousin so much for coming over and helping out. He's always there when I need him. I'll text him a quick question or anything and he comes through. But Matt did a really good job with this. Um, that is a Ryobi tile cutter and that's something that we most certainly will invest in. Look at it, it's all done. It looks so beautiful. And it's been sitting here for a couple of days now and it's time to get ready for grout. So I always wanna make sure that the floor is clean before we start any grouting products. So here we're grouting and as you can see, this is our first mistake. Do you see how much grout is all over the floor? Please keep this in mind, don't do this. Please work in small sections and work your way out. Okay, so now this is when we realize, uh-oh, I think we did something wrong. So at this part, we noticed that there was some grout haze is what they call it, and the tile didn't look good. So my cousin had left us at this point. He basically told us that we got this. You know, he helped lay down the tile and we all worked in unison. So Matt cut the tile, he laid the tile down, and then I buttered the back of the tile. But at this point, he said it was okay for us to grout the tile. Now, we've never grouted tile before. So we're sitting there and we're like, okay, well we did what he told us to do. Why does it look like this? Basically, we left the grout on the tile way too long. Um, we should have worked in smaller sections and I think that we were tired and also we didn't know what the heck we were doing. So we just did the whole tile, I mean, the whole floor. And so there was too much uh, grout on the tile. And again, when you're doing this, make sure that you work in small sections grout it and then immediately wipe it off. So if we would have done that, then I don't think that we would have had as much tile haze that we had or grout haze that we had. Um, so that's just a pro tip to work in small sections and then work your way out. So there was like this stuff all over the tiles. And at that point I was just trying to buy rugs to put on the tile because I thought there was nothing that we can do that we do, you know, destroyed the tile. And I really didn't want anyone to see it. I really was hesitant to even make this video because I thought our tile was ruined. So anyhow, um, we were able to research some 
Again, YouTube is our friend. We were able to research some YouTube videos and found an acid cleaner. They actually put down on the tile and it eats up the grout and the grout hates. This was a long process, but it, I believe it was totally worth it and, and ended up coming out and renewing the tile and making it so beautiful as when we first put it down. So again, <laughs> it's a DIY, it's okay. You're gonna make plenty of mistakes. Um, this is one that I thought that was a mistake that we could not come back from, but we, again, we had some patience, a little bit of elbow grease, and it came out so beautiful. So fortunately, our mirror wasn't glued to the wall, so it made it a whole lot easier to remove the old mirror or the builder grade mirror and install our beautiful new mirror. Okay, so here we were using these things called drywall hooks. I have never heard of it until my mother-in-law told us about it. She's been using them all around her home. But they're basically like these hooks that you push into the drywall and then you turn it and it hooks into itself on the back of the wall. I don't know how to explain it, but I just know that they absolutely work and they hold up to 50 pounds. So I would highly recommend them. Again, they're drywall hooks and they hardly do any type of damage to your walls. Just one little like needle hole. All right, so we're at this place that we found. It's called Progressive Lighting. And um, what city is this, babe? Um, maybe Dawsonville or yeah. coming. I don't know, we'll, um, we'll find it in Lincoln. Yeah, <laughs> um, called Progressive Lighting. And I've driven past it multiple times, but today we had time and I asked Matt, let's go ahead and check it out. So they have like a huge outlet um, in the back. So this is the back of the store. But in the front, they have like um, a whole showroom and just beautiful lighting and the prices are not bad whatsoever. But this one is actually the light that we were gonna buy. And out on the showroom floor, it is, how much was it? 99, 99 well actually that 99 was for three, right? Yeah, I think it was like, we'll link the price down below, but it was more expensive, but we came back here in the outlet portion of it and this same one is $69. Like, you can't beat that. It has all the hardware that it needs. It goes with our farmhouse theme. It's so cute, so it reminds me of like a little schoolhouse farmhouse light. And I love it, and we just need to get the bulbs. But it has all the hardware. So we're gonna go ahead and get this. So, came up on a deal. Okay, again, I cannot get over that deal on that light. I mean, actually the price that's linked below um, of the 107 was still a sale price. So originally it is $127, but it's on sale currently right now for 107. And again, we got ours for $69 only because it didn't have a box guys. Like if you can come up on a deal like that, I say, go ahead, go for it. And even if it doesn't say like, for example, match your decor or the colors off, spray paint it, but still don't walk away from a deal like that. I absolutely love my new light. Okay, so I have to say that I am proud of Matt because this was his first time um, changing out a light fixture in our home. Our first house, again, we were, didn't do anything. I mean, we would hire someone for, if I had to change out a light, I would have hired an electrician, but he was confident and he changed it out and it looks so good. Every time I go in that bathroom now, I just can't get over it that everything was done by us and I love it. So this project, again, was a joint effort between Matt and my son, Jalen. So thanks, Jalen, for stepping up and helping your dad out. Did a great job. I know his arm was burning, but <laughs> he held in there.
So once we made sure our new light was level, we put in our new light bulbs from Progressive Lighting and we wanted to make sure that everything was working correctly. So Matt's actually telling our son Jalen which breaker to turn off, or excuse me, to turn back on to make sure that the light actually works. Um, but I was on the phone with my mom at the same time, so when you hear her, that's why. Number 28. See the numbers in the middle? So now that we have all of the technical stuff done, let's go ahead and decorate. That's always the fun part. So the series of the next three pictures are actually our Pinterest inspiration for this bathroom and we just took lots of nods from each one of them and our bathroom came out like this. Okay guys, so it's all finished and I think it came out so good. Um, we went from a semi-custom finished bathroom in a basement to a custom bathroom. So I'm so happy with it. I couldn't be any more thrilled. It came out so good. So I got this from Home Goods, this mirror. It was on clearance for 50 bucks and I love it. I get some backlash with um, my family. They don't really like it, but I love it. And I got this here from Hobby Lobby and it's just a cute cotton um, arrangement and I just thought that it went with the farmhouse decor. So I got this light again for Progressive Lighting in the outlet center in their back and that was $69 and they actually sell that one for the Ford Light, I believe it's 99 but we got it for 69 and that's only because it didn't have a box. So nothing else wrong with it, it just didn't have a box so we got a discounted amount. And we got this from Kirkland's it was gonna go above the toilet in my toilet room um, upstairs in the owner's suite, but we decided to go with something else and I can't wait to show that to you guys. It's a work in progress. Um, so I got this there that was 59 bucks. I need to take the tag off because y'all seeing that. Um, and then the decor, all of the decor I got from Hobby Lobby as well. So I thought this was cute, just country style and it's gonna be a good day. So I got that and then I just got these little inexpensive um, face towels from Target and just put those in there. I think they face towels for like a four pack for like two bucks or something like that. And I got this little thing again from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to put some Q-tips in there um, just so my guests can have something to clean their ears if they need to or whatnot. So that'll go in there. And then again, this sign to wash your hands and also has the brush your teeth. So, but I think wash your hands is appropriate, especially given the current environment that we're in. Um, as far as the shower caddy, I got that from TJ Maxx and it just goes with the tour. It's very modern and sleek. So I'll decorate that and go and get some products from Bath, um, Bath and Body Works. This I got from Target as part of the Hearth and Hand collection. It's just a lotion and soap. And I just love that it is low key, um, very neutral. And again, goes with the styling of the farmhouse. So, and I got this towel as part of the Hearth and uh, Hand collection as well. It's just a hand towel that I have there. I still need to get some towels to go on the towel rack, but that's what we have. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Please leave some comments below what you guys think as far as the uh, makeover to our guest bathroom. And this wraps up the 
um, guest suite series for suite 903. Thank you guys so much. Please again, like and subscribe and we'll see you next week at eight o'clock. Bye.